We thank the Special Rapporteur on Freedom of Opinion and Expression for his report and in particular for highlighting the right to freedom of expression on the Internet. He mentioned attacks on journalists and bloggers in several Islamic states. An example of such an attack occurred in the Maldives earlier this month when Ismail Rashid, a blogger, journalist and free speech advocate, was brutally attacked near his home on the 4th of June. His throat was slashed and he escaped death by millimeters. The government of the Maldives has made no effort to arrest Rashid's attackers despite credible photographic evidence of the attack. The Maldives has become significantly less tolerant since the visit in 2010 of the firebrand Islamist preacher Dr. Zakia Naik, who told a man in front of the largest crowd ever assembled in that country that if he continued to deny Islam, he should be killed. In Turkey, the pianist Fazil Say has been indicted for posting jokes about Islam on Twitter and could face 18 months in jail. May we respectfully remind the OIC that it is not religions that have human rights, but people. Apostates and those who question religion have the right to freedom of expression. But preachers of hate who call for the killing of anyone who disagrees with their particularly barbaric interpretation of Islam and who roam the world inciting hatred and making death threats with impunity are surely guilty of crimes under international law. We urge the OIC member states to do far more to honour their obligations under Articles 19 and 20 of the ICCPR to ensure that everyone shall have the right to freedom of expression, but that any advocacy of national, racial or religious hatred that constitutes incitement to discrimination, hostility or violence shall be prohibited by law. Thank you.